Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a tip on how to save a painting. So I figured this would be a good Frugal Friday tip because, you know, saving things is good and we're going to use a frugal supply for it. So I was painting this flower here and I was mixing up some green and I was using phthalo blue and, um, and, uh, yellow and I splashed some phthalo blue right over here in my background and I was like oh no because it's so staining I blotted at it with a paper towel it didn't come up so what I used was the scrub buddies it's like in a magic eraser um but it's just the generic version you can get a dollar tree and you can get sheets or you can get um big uh, sponges of it now what I recommend doing actually is, is tearing off a piece so you don't have to deal with this big unwieldy bit but I'll just I'll just so show you so let's say you are painting you got your they little blue and oh oh no I got in the background that's such a staining color quell problem and then you go and blot at it and you're like oh it's still there it's still there what I'm gonna do so you take your um your little magic eraser you get you get it wet till my hands are dirty and then squeeze out the extra water if there is any and then you just go over it. Now this is technically abrading your paper, so this is like end of the road type fixing. You're not, you don't want to do this on a fresh sheet of paper and paint over, look at that, not a spot left. So you don't want to do this like and then paint over it because you are going to have removed some of the sizing there. But if you're all done, you've done this beautiful botanical painting and you've got a big splash on it, that will take it out. So I've got some mixed, some green swatches here that I've done with, um, with phthalo blue as because I was mixing uh, I was mixing different greens so another thing you can do is you can actually use a eraser shield like if you get um if you drop like if I drop paint like down in here somewhere and I needed to remove it and I didn't want to disrupt anything which I actually had a mark on my paper before I painted this but I didn't have high hopes for this so um I just left it so I went in and removed a little mark that I had in there and I used the eraser shield for that why didn't I fill it uh, who knows um, the thing with an eraser shield though that you want to know that you want to be careful of is that if you're trying to remove something and there's other holes next to it you just want to tape that up up and also you want to and what I mean is like you put a piece of um, like a piece of washi tape I don't know where my washi tape oh here so you would like um, just put a piece of washi tape down so you don't accidentally go through another hole of the stencil by mistake so like if I wanted to do um, like say I wanted to do this little square here, I could cover up that and then I could just set that down. I'll put it there because that's still a little bit wet and I could take my damp sponge and go over it. Make sure it's it's just damp and not wet or you're gonna squish uh, you're gonna squish stuff under the stencil. But there, look at that, we've gone back to bright white paper even though that was a phthalo color there. So, um, my Frugal Friday tip this week is to grab some uh, magic erasers or the Dollar Tree equivalent. You actually can just go, you know, you, you're not going to go through a lot of this. You can take one sheet and cut it up into small pieces, keep that in your painting bag. You're not going to need them all the time, it's just when you have one of those oopsies. And then the rest you can use to clean your house. Um, <laughs> So there you have it, my Frugal Friday tip of the day. Use your magic erasers to remove boo-boos. And if you're using an eraser shield to get into a small space, make sure you tape up the holes around the area you're, you're going to use so you don't end up, you know, making polka dots or weird lines on your painting where you don't want it. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.